So it's Sunday afternoon, about six o'clock. I'm gonna try to work on this a little bit. Went to Menards, bought a piece of siding that I think matches this. But this is on the other side of that window. I was kind of working in this area last weekend. And uh, I kind of want to get this bottom piece off here and open this up to see the the rim joist to see what it's, what it looks like on this side. So that's what I'm working on right now. But I've got a bunch of material there. Slowly but surely. Got a lot of work to do on this old home, but hey, it's mine. It's paid for. I'm not in debt to nobody. Well, this is what I got done so far. I got that, I guess they call it back mount trim and the front cap pulled off that covers the skirting and the starter channel. That was just aluminum, but I've got pieces of that so this is just kind of an exploratory but now what I guess I'm gonna have to do is that's half inch plywood covering that rim joist it's a two by six rim joist in there so I guess I'm just gonna to have to cut along there six inches and expose that rim joist so I can take a look at it right above this window well here's what I got I cut off the plywood is half an inch thick plywood and it's still fairly solid and uh, it doesn't look too bad there's over this area here it's pretty wet and rotten so uh, I've got this shed here I'm probably gonna have to move the shed out <laughs> work on that area it's about four inches back in there so that probably needs to repl be replaced, but up to here it's fairly solid, especially in here. It's dirty, but it's solid. And uh, I don't know if you can see, you can kind of see how the subfloor comes through. So here's the edge of the 2x6. The then this right here, this 3 quarter inches, that's your subfloor, your sawdust made it's made out of sawdust basically you can see there's a stud right in the middle of the window and there's another stud here another one over there so it can be done right drew a little exploring here for me and just trying to get myself motivated to do this but like i say i think i'm going to end up pulling a lot of the siding off and I gotta especially gotta work on the roof and use something with the roof so but eventually I think I want to put a door take this window out and put a 30, 36 inch wide door so my front door is up there and this would be the entrance to what I call my utility room or my mud room it'll have the water heater and a utility sink and the washer and dryer and oh well, kind of late start on a Sunday. I had to work yesterday so I didn't have a lot of energy. Put in fifty five hours last week so it'll be a busy week again. So I'll just do what I can. There's why it's leaking up there. All that's got to come out. It's just going down behind the vinyl siding and dripping on the walls and dripping all the way down onto that rim joist. So, what I guess I got a feeling it's probably going to end up doing is just replacing all this vinyl siding, taking it off, and doing it right. Like Drew says, it's just made of wood, it can be done. So I know I can do it, just a matter of getting the time and, and just doing it. Here you can see the underpinning and the insulation. It sagged and broke loose of the... It's going to have to be uh, 
pulled out some after crawl underneath there sometime and just start cleaning it out so I can put new rock wool insulation in. But the rim joist there, that area there you're seeing is rotted so I imagine I'm going to have to cut that piece out and put a new piece in but I'm going to have to get that shed out of the way. But the rest of it looks pretty good. Thanks for watching everybody. We'll see you on the next one.